Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you today. This is a video request. And interestingly enough, it's not just by one person. This has been a request that I have gotten through multiple messages from you folks. And I appreciate how awesome you are to us all the time. I'm out here currently while we talk. I'm making my aqua cones. I'm gonna see if I can do a video on that. We're about to get a thunderstorm. So I'm gonna make my point and move on with it and try to encourage you today. Are you ready for it? Let's talk truth. So here's the bottom line about homeschooling. We've been homeschooling now for multiple, multiple years. I've already graduated a high schooler and he is going to be an RN. He's in nursing school and he's doing fabulous. I will also have a senior and a sophomore. And so I have already survived the all phases of homeschooling in terms of grade levels. And let me tell you right now, moms, dads, grandmas, whoever, if there's ever a time to bring your child home, your children home to homeschool, do it now. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to look around in terms of all the things that are going on right now and say, we're already having a struggle issue in terms of the public school system. We're already having problems with bullying. We're already having problems with lack of true education in our school system. All of these things have been complicated and complex arguments and points for years, 10 years, 15 years, heck, go back as far as you want. But we've really been seeing the heat of this and the problem with this over the past 10 to 15 years. It doesn't matter why, it doesn't matter who, it's just the bottom line, okay? We've also seen a rise in issues with health problems with children. Now you throw in this year and you've got multiple problems. I don't even, do I need to tell you? No, I don't think so. Multiple problems from health and safety, psychology. It's time to bring your children home. Now this is not a speech or a rant or a, a, a fist up against public schools necessarily, or even school teachers. I've said before in previous videos, I was a public school kid, proud one, oh yes, and I had many wonderful teachers. But circumstances today are very different for very many reasons, lots of different reasons, from politics, religion, and her, life is different today. So because we know this, Okay, the, the, you need to take a really huge look at yourself, your family, and especially the levels of stress and things that your children can take and absorb. So I say to you right now, for those of you that say, I've never done it, I don't know what to do it, I, or what to do, I don't know how to start, I don't know where to begin, what if I make my children stupid? Well, first of all, on that point, that's not going to happen. If you're getting up every day and you've got a really good base grounded material and, and curriculum per, for your child based on their needs, and you're committing every day the time that you need, and you're probably going to be committing more. First of all, the first thing that you're going to notice is that you're going to, you are going to probably finish the school year sooner. I know I've got a rooster back there. Sooner than if you had put them in the public school system. See, you're going to dictate your schedule. You're going to dictate your time and you're going to find that you're not having to speed up or slow down according to somebody else's needs. Not that helping other people is bad. That's not what I mean. I'm just saying you're going to be working at the pace that, that works for your child and you're going to figure out, okay, Johnny finished all of his lessons by Thursday or, you know, next month, Johnny might be behind and you might need to commit on Saturday afternoon. And you know what? Johnny is going to be able to absorb that better. And you're going to be able to spend time with him one-on-one, -on -one, helping him understand the curriculum better. It's not a walk in the park. It's not always that simple. But what I'm telling you is, is in my first year, I had that anxiety because I brought my kids home from the public school system. And boy, that was not the smartest thing I ever did. But I will tell you, if it's talking to you, and, and, and you're, you're, you've are you're been thinking about it for a year or two, but you just haven't had the courage to do it. Why? Because let me tell you right now, you're being convicted. You're walking away from being convicted. And I'm going to tell you right now, with something like this, especially with something so important to you and so powerful, such as your children or grandchildren, um, if you're going to get convicted about something, I don't know what in the world would be more important than that right now. 
because I'm going to tell you, if we don't center our kids with everything that's going on right now, there's no hope for the future because guess what? They're going to be the ones that have to wipe our rear ends in the end. So let's make them good people. Let's make them smart people. Let's know that we gave them what they personally needed at such a vulner vulnerable time in their life. Now listen, if you can't homeschool because of work and all the things that are going on, and I'm not guilting you. But what I'm saying is this is directed towards individuals that have said to me, I keep wanting to but I'm scared I don't feel confident what stop that jazz you are enough the responsibility of educating and caring for your children fall on you first not on the public school system not on your preacher not on your mama's mama it is your responsibility because they are your children so you should feel honored to take that responsibility. Now, I'm gonna tell you, there are gonna be days you ain't gonna like it, <laughs> okay? I mean, the kids are on you all the time, but you'll get used to that. And when you start seeing them grow and start having conversations and are, are, and are happy in what they're doing, you know, every one of us have likes and dislikes. We gotta get them through the things that even if they don't like, say they don't like geometry, but they're a history buff, guess what? They're gonna have that one-on-one -on -one time to do what they need to do or you do what you need to do to get them through that geometry and get them sufficient, okay? But they're gonna be able to flourish more in subjects in which they have a bigger interest in. How wonderful is that? You're gonna be able to pick and choose better. You're gonna be able to design your family to your needs. I'm not gonna even discuss or go into all the things that kids face in public schools. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, you can go anywhere, uh, and I hope you get as far as to hear this, you can go anywhere uh, in, in terms of church or friend circles and homeschool co-ops and all these other things. Does not mean everybody's like you and does not mean everybody's necessarily nice. You'll handle it. I have confidence in you. So just know that that's people are people. But to know that you're bringing home your children in 2020, if you've ever felt convicted and curious in needing to do so, I will tell you the date of today, you're still in the month of June, okay? Most school systems don't even start back until about the second week of August. It varies, I know. Somebody's gonna come up here and go, well, we don't start till September 35th. I know, this is a broad brush. But my point is, is it's time for you to look for uh, someone to represent you in terms of you don't have to necessarily do that but if you're going to go with uh, a, a, an umbrella school per se start checking it out right now because you've got to start transferring paperwork you've got to start buying curriculum okay and you need to be doing it now so this is what I say to you if you're coming to me little old me and asking for the courage to homeschool that means you're so hardcore convicted you just need the nudge. I'm not going to nudge you into in making you feel like you should or should not do something. But what I am going to remind you again is that your spirit, you're being, your spirit is being talked to and you know what to do for the needs of your children. As somebody always told me in the past when I had these moments, they said, it's not like you can't send them back. <laughs> You know, and there were moments that I said, I'm going to do, you know, you have those crazy mom moments, but, um, folks at the end of every year, and I know what my children have learned and I know what my children have been taught and I know what my children have eaten and I know where my boys have gone. There's a peace of mind that comes with that with stress. So I say to you again, get up. You are the representation that your children need. You are the solid voice and the solid pillar of reason that your children need. That's not somebody else's responsibility. So if you can do it and you feel the conviction to do it, do it. You will not regret it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer. I'm getting so many comments and private messages and PMs and DMs and M&Ms and all these M's right now about different uh, subjects and uh, you know all the current events and farming and 
self-reliance and homeschooling of uh, folks i'm having a hard time keeping up with it trying to you know manage everything here and you guys and everything else around but i want you to know first and foremost i appreciate you i love you and i'm praying for you i'm praying for your children i'm praying for my children i'm praying for our country right now i'm praying for everyone out there that we all have a great awakening and a reminder of how blessed we are we have scars Amen. So does Jesus. We can still triumph together. All right? Stay positive. Stay the course. Stay in the garden. Let yourself be guided in the direction that you need to go. Be that patriot. I'll see you on the next video.